Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about how to make this beautiful bookshelf. We started out with branches. These are constructed of 3 quarter inch plywood sheets that have been glued together in 1 sheet, 2 sheet, and 3 sheet configurations. And cut according to our schematic, link in the description below. Now that we have our branches, we need something for them to sit on. That's where this 3 quarter inch thick sheet of plywood comes into. Since it's going to be our backdrop, we need to paint it. We started out with a thick coat of primer to seal the plywood and to act as a base for the brown paint that we're going to add later. After the primer was dried, we added our deep brown coat. We were looking for a stark contrast between the background and the tree. That's why we opted for such a deep shade of brown. according to the schematic. The next thing to do is attach them. In order to do that, we need a drill with a uh, small bit for pre-drilling. We're gonna need a larger bit for uh, countersinking the screws. And then we're gonna need a set of screws. I'm using two inch screws right here because they're gonna be going through quarter and three quarter inch plywood into the back of the uh, tree branches. And they need to go a decent amount in because the weight of the books is gonna be pulling down on them like this. First thing to do is to line up your boards in the correct place and make sure that they're square. That way that we know our board is square against the base edge here. Once we have our rulers lined up, we're going to take the board away and we're going to drill several holes on the bottom side so we know from the back how we're going to drill. Now you want to reline up the board so that it's in the correct place and then you're going to drill into the bottom. Use a thin bit to pre-drill so you don't crack the plywood. Use a thicker bit to countersink the screws. You're now good to sink your first set of screws. This is where it's important to make sure that your branches are very flush and flat. Otherwise, when you screw them in, they'll tilt and turn. We wanted to hide all the screws so they wouldn't be visible from the front. This one will be covered up by a branch and is good to add structural support to the base of the tree. We started by fixing the main trunk to the background first. This is important so that the rest of the branches line up accordingly. To fix each piece, we would first butt it up to the piece before it, and then line either side with rulers so we know how wide the piece was. The piece is then taken away and holes will drilled from the top of the plywood. This is so we know where to drill in from the bottom when we replace the piece. Screwing each branch in will take some time. You have to be careful about its placement so that the gaps between each branch are not accentuated when you screw them in. It's nice to have a friend to help you set the boards, and two tables to put the plywood on so you can get underneath the boards easily. Since you have to use three sets of drill bits, it's also nice if you have several drills so you don't have to keep swapping the bits out. Okay, so we built the tree, eight feet tall, thought it would be good enough, but then when we tried to stick it into the room, it was too tall, like smashing at the ceiling. So we're gonna take off about three inches off the top, and we've already set up our jig right here. It's gonna guide the uh, skill saw, so we can lop off a full three inches, and then I call it good. So hopefully this works. Well, after some measuring malfunctions, we are going- Was not me, that was definitely not me. <laughs> We're going to sand the top of the tree. Sand all the surfaces of the tree to make a nice smooth finish and to prep the surface for polyurethane later. Once you're finished sanding, wipe down the entire tree with a damp rag to ensure that no dust is left on it. Brush on some polyurethane. That's this stuff right here. Because uh, we got a tree, you know, it's all sanded and pretty, and we uh, took some wet rags and made it all nice and uh, dust free. So uh, I think we're about to get started here. What are you excited about? Uh, brushing it on. But it's gonna smell it wasn't. terrible. Yeah, this stuff is pretty bad. Make sure you're in a ventilated area, not like this garage that we're in. Um, if we're dead by the end of this, that's why. So, full disclosure, do this outside, please. So, um, 
get started. Put it on the paint to protect the paint, also. So that's. Yeah, really? Is that, is that your plan? Is that what you, <laughs> you just do that? <laughs> Polyurethane makes for a nice, clean, protective coat, but will raise rough burrs when it's finished drying. So make sure and go over it with a light piece of sandpaper. I know, don't, don't, don't pretend you're working. Done. Yeah, I know. It took forever. Just the last uh, wee little bit right here. But we totally upgraded our security. Check that bad boy out. Wiping those toxic fumes out of this place. <laughs> and you feeling pretty lightheaded right now, huh? Um, actually, it's more than like my back. <laughs> <laughs> After the polyurethane dried, we started to make the brace on the wall where we were going to place the bookshelf. We found the studs in the wall and screwed two two by fours into them. We then marked on the back of the tree where those 2x4s met. We laid the tree down and then screwed another two set of 2x4s into the back of the tree. We set the tree against it again and then screwed the 2x4s into each other. We did this so as not to have screws coming straight in from the front of the tree. The project was great and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and if you like what we did here today, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We'll be throwing some more videos your way. And if you have a good idea of something that we should be making, put it in the comment section below and we'll see if we can get to it. Thanks Bye. for watching, guys.